there is a free to use DJI simulator, which will help you improve your muscle memory, safely try out new moves, and even practice flying in stronger winds. All of this with either a DJI controller or an Xbox controller. Since the release of the first DJI Mavic Mini, then the Air 2 and now the Mini 2, there have been a lot of new flyers entering into the camera drone hobby and I thought it would be a good reminder to show you all the DJI Flight Simulator and talk through how to get it, install it and have some fun. It can help those who have not flown much or keep your skills and muscle memory up during the winter months. Now you will need a decent computer but only a 1080 card so it should run well on a lot of systems. This will be an explanation from a PC user's perspective. So first up visit the link I've placed in the description to download the software itself from DJI. Then simply install it in the same way you would any other software. One note to mention is that my system security did not like the software and wanted to quarantine it. However, this was easily corrected and would have been more to do with the access the simulator has to your computer, etc., to recognize the controllers. Um, I've researched fully and find no issues with the security of the software itself. Before we launch into the software itself, it is worth talking about controllers. Of course, all of the Phantom style controllers work, as well as the original Mavic Air 1 controller. However, the Mavic Air 2 controller is not recognised, although the Mavic Mini controller works well, with a couple of issues which I will explain later. Remember, as well as the DJI controllers, you can also use an Xbox controller, so that gives some flexibility. You should use a data cable to connect the controller to the PC as a straight charging cable will not work. So if you're not getting messages and it's not recognizing the controller, change your cable up. Okay, so once you have installed the software, grab your DJI or Xbox controller and head on in. Okay, so here we are. Once you launch the software itself, this is the, the launcher which, uh, which will come up, the DJI Flight Simulator. Uh, as it shows on the top left, it shows the free trial version. Now, to get to this screen, you'll need to sign in with your DJI credentials. So the same as you put into your drones when you activate them and into the Fly app and that type of thing. If you don't have one, they're free to set up so you can go ahead and register that. Uh, yourselves and then basically next thing you do is obviously there it is on the screen click the start button and this will then launch the simulator the next thing to do is to choose your controller personally i'm going to give the uh, the mavic air one uh, controller look at me pulling out the uh, and the antenna ready to fly um so boot that up and then um grab your cable pop it into the charger port on the side of the controller. Be careful to ensure that you put the cable in the right way up. Okay, so once you have everything plugged in and you're ready to go with your DJI controller, you'll see that the on-screen functions actually show the switch options being the left stick and the confirm being the C2, which is the FN button, and to come back, it's C1, which is the pause button here on the Mavic Air. Um, interestingly, on the Mavic Mini controller, which don't have all of these buttons, you'll still need to use the enter and escape buttons to go into and out of the different menu sections so first of all let, let's have a little look at the free flight so clicking in there you get to choose between your your drones you have the spark uh, the mavic pro and then you have the the range of mavic 2s of course because this software is a couple of years old now we don't have access to things like the air 2 or the mini or the, even the mini 2 but you do have the phantom 4 and they've given us one of the large ones to play with on the free version, which is the Inspire 1 Pro. Anything bigger than that, such as the Inspire 2 or the Matrice, you have to um, unlock the Enterprise version, which is very expensive, which is really who this software was aimed at. So people flying the Matrice, that type of thing, doing inspections, etc. So they can basically fly things um, and, and practice safely. So me, I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose the Air 1, which is... The controller I have plugged in, but it's also a little favourite drone of mine. If it wasn't for that darn connection issues, um, I think it would have been a much more popular and more successful drone. But there we go. So once into this section, you've then got the different options of the free flights. So you've got the farm, the hangar, the city, the island, uh, the mountains, the forest and a custom version. So to begin with, I'm going to um, start off in the hangar. So again, pressing the C1 button, uh, it's then asking me to choose a takeoff point which I can clicking again, the FN, the C2 button, um, and then it loads us in. The load time's pretty quick. And as you can see, I'm actually pretty impressed by the uh, the graphics. It's, they're not bad. So again, um, using the controller, I'm going to bring the sticks together and down to start the motors. Okay, just turned the desktop audio on so we can hear the buzzing. 
I can hear the drone flying around. Okay, so once you're in and flying and the aircraft's up in the air, you're able to change the view that you've got by hitting the button on your controller, which will cycle through the different feeds. So you've got obviously the FPV, you've got the, um, the follow mode, you've got the view from the ground, and also the view of the controller, which is interesting, when you're in here, it will actually, as you can see on the screen, it will show you, it will mimic the controller inputs, basically, which is, again, a bit of fun. Even see yourself there flying. Let's go over and say hello to myself. Hello, Sean. Looks like I've lost a bit of weight, doesn't it? Good job, man. Okay, now, there's also another thing you can do here, which is basically, you can actually set up different wind settings so that you can practice flying in the wind. Pressing the FM button on the controller, you can go up and control things like aircraft, so pitch, roll, and yaw to have that on. Then you go into difficulty, you can click on different offsets for your hovering uh, interference as far as being able to have signal interference, uh, and also wind. So, let's turn the wind on here. As you can see, it's really started to move the the drone on the camera. So you're then going to have to deal with the, the wind interference while you're flying. And you can also change which direction that wind is coming in. You can see on the mini map there, the drone is moving around quite a bit by itself. Um, so again, it, it gives you a bit of experience in being able to deal with these things. Okay, so let's go back out to the main menu um, and we'll, we'll try something else. So looking at the entertainment button, Let's take a look at what you can actually do in here. So again, we're gonna choose a drone. Let's choose something else this time. Um, we'll go for Mitchell Mavic Pro, might be good fun. We'll, we'll do the Mavic 2. Here we go, the Mavic 2 Pro. And then we'll come into the next menu and it will give you time trial, tunnel run, bubble race. So we're gonna try the bubble race here, which is gonna be an interesting one. Um, I've never played this level before, so we'll, we'll see how I do, shall we? So again, mission select, in you go. So again, bringing my sticks together to start the drone up. And if I go, and it appears that I need to hit all of these buttons, bubbles. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. To be fair, it all seems pretty straightforward. As uh, apart from the odd corner here and there, they're all they're all on the side there. Uh, interesting, the sport mode button does actually work. So you can speed up the drone and slow it down by hitting that sport mode button. Oh, get through here. Oh, 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 bring it down a bit. This is about as close to FPV as I've ever come. <laughs> oh! So there you go. As you can see, I clipped one of the sides there. So there we go. The DJI Flight Simulator is something which is a little bit of fun. It certainly helps you in terms of being able to keep your muscle memory up, etc. And also practice before you go out and fly your drone, especially perhaps for the first time. I've been using it also when the weather's bad, that type of thing, to keep up my muscle memory. Um, there isn't too many levels and modes in there, but things like the time trial runs are quite good fun and that type of thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short insight into the DJI Simulator. Let me know how you get on with it or if you've used it before in the comments below. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the like button if you're still watching this video. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. What are you? The, the, the show's over. You know this. We do this every single time. Come on, guys. A bit of privacy. It's embarrassing.